You meaning you and your sisters. Right. That's y'all well, job. I, well, it is our job. And I can tell you, when you talk about the lame, my, my son, he's in the band. He's a straight A student. I, about, he I loves understand, government. but you understand I'm not just talking mm -hmm. about you and your friends. Yeah. And, what you, and here's the answer. The answer is uncomfortable. You, the, black women on mass don't praise black men. Not enough. Well, not, not enough, enough. Not, not at all. Not I mean, negligible. So so when you finally get a black man who actually has the nerve to sit back and just say something that a black woman would say, I'm the prize, I'm a queen. He said he's the prize. Black women call themselves queens all the time. Right, but a I didn't have hold a on, problem. Hold on, but a black woman will call yeah. herself a queen. And, you know, you got women who just graduated with a humanities <laughs> degree or something like that. They, talking about their education, and a black man who went to an HBCU came out with a law degree and did nothing other than saying, I am one of the elite black men because I have an elite degree. That's all he said. Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't have a problem with it at all. I, I thought, like, that. It, I'm not going to lie to you, Kevin. When I first heard him say, I'm the prize, I'll be honest with you, I'm not used to hearing black men talk like that, calling yourself a prize. Why? What's wrong I, with it? I would want him. I, I would want him to be more confident. To um, I shouldn't. I don't want to say what he shouldn't have said. Now let me let me just back that up for a moment because I'm getting ready to contradict myself. Well, on, so I don't want to do that. Did you say you have a son? I, I do. Yeah. How old is he? He is 15 years old. So you don't want him. To, you don't want him to to pray to, to say he's deprived if he accomplishes something that puts him in rarefied air. No, I want him to say it. What I said is, it was interesting. I've never heard a man say, I'm a prize like that. Well, what does your husband like, say? A prize. <laughs> well, what does your husband say? My husband don't say prize. My husband just don't talk like that. Like, okay. my husband, first of all, my husband is very confident. He'll just let you know. Like, mm -hmm. I, I know what he does, and he's going to beat his chest and let you know he's good at what he does. So it could just be, I think it was just more of a shocker for women so you, to hear a man say he's you, you said your husband says he's he's good at what he does? Yeah, my husband will let you know I'm, I'm the best at what I do. So that's the so, same thing. It's the same thing, but it was just weird to hear a prize. Yeah, so I guess see, what that you, was what you, But, but, but the here's the off. thing, Ebony. What you're used to hearing is black women who aren't... They're, they're... I think they're arguing over semantics. I think they need to define their terms. What does prize mean, and why is that term used in, rough, in general in black culture? How is it used towards women, and how is it used towards men? She said it first. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I think it's, yeah, okay. Prizes who aren't queens, who aren't anything what they say they are, give themselves all kind of heaps of praise. And what you do is you have a young black man who ran down his, his stats, heterosexual, attractive, under 30, no baby mama drama, educated, two degrees, high earning potential. Any man with those statistics would be considered rarefied air, even your husband. And the fact that he had the nerve to actually just say, I'm the prize, that... One word... I get it. you the wrong way. I see why. Pause. You, so you, I gotta you see why? So I think it's because the phrase, I'm a prize, seems to have circulated within within commentary that black women probably make about themselves. Mm. And now he's kind of like taking that word and applying it to himself. He could have said, I'm a catch. He could have said, I'm the S-H-I-T. He could have said, I'm that dude. I'm that N-I-G-G-A. He could have used all those terms, but he specifically used I'm a prize because it's almost like he's taking the way black women will use that to kind of like puff themselves up and I'm that girl, I'm that yeah. person. And he's using that towards himself. And I think the reason why it probably rubs her and maybe other black women the wrong way is that they feel like they don't want a black man to take a word or a concept that belongs to them or they feel it, it doesn't that it belongs to them, but it's like they don't want to feel like they're they're having to perhaps compete or even see what it looks like on the other side. Interesting. He also has the pedigrees and things because I, I think what Kevin's also trying to get at is that the average woman who hasn't accomplished what this brother has would say she's a prize. 
and he has two degrees mm -hmm. one of them being a law mm -hmm. had to take the bar exam which is considered one of the hardest exams in america to take mm -hmm. passed it under 20 no baby mama drama and it's like these are some amazing accolades to have mm -hmm. For anyone, regardless of race, and for this man to use this word that black women use almost for themselves, it's like they're taking offense to it. And I think the reason why that word "I'm a prize" is used towards is is used within the space of black women is because it's also a way to boost the confidence of black women, especially in an environment where oftentimes there's anti-black woman rhetoric that's spoken there's a lot of negativity about being a black woman whether it's your skin texture your hair we get a lot of hate from a lot of different spheres right? hmm, so from I who though can't be the white men it can't be the white culture they want you guys no i think it's from multiple cultures not just black culture or white culture i think that there's anti-blackness that is pervasive in many spaces and i think that Black women feel. Oh, but can, you're just can, being a you're just being a victim. If that's how you feel, you're being a victim. This is what I Cynthia mean, G says. How you feel? This is what Cynthia G says. Being a victim isn't an ending place. It can be a, a true lived experience that a person can have. And speaking about it doesn't mean that you are victimizing yourself in any way. It depends on how you approach the topic. So I think. The reason why black women use the term I'm a prize towards themselves, it could be for like, maybe like four reasons. Mm -hmm. I think that one of those reasons, though, is a means to help boost the inner confidence a black woman should have towards herself. Meaning like, you know, here you are existing in this space as a black woman. You've made it through all sorts of hoops and all sorts of things to be where you are. You are the prize. Don't look down upon yourself. Don't have low confidence. Even if people talk about your hair texture, even if it's more pervasive to, you know, have mixed women and white women in music videos, and you're not, you know, being, you know, shown in that favorable light in a lot of ways. Like you should view yourself as a prize. It's kind of like, you know, a way to kind of bolster inner confidence and self confidence. Mm. And um, oftentimes, I don't think that being the prize relates to how many degrees you have. Or anything like this it's just the idea of like being a woman being feminine and embodying that energy is a valuable thing in and of itself and in a sense it kind of is women in certain ways do not have to put in effort in certain ways that men do to be seen as valuable I've seen so many movies and movies aren't really the best example but it can be a reflection of reality where a young girl who is, you know, young and attractive, she'll end up entering in the, into these spheres of life, whether, you know, someone wants to train her, someone wants to adopt her, someone wants to bring, them, bring her under her wing, just on the idea of her being feminine and a girl and a woman and attractive. Mm. She's able to enter into spaces that don't take a degree or any particular physical labor. Now, does that mean that women don't do anything to get into the places that they are in society? Not necessarily, because, again, it's about embodying certain qualities. So I, I do think that, like, this I'm a prize thing is the idea that, like, femininity and being a woman in and of itself is, like, a, a valuable and good thing. Is that right or wrong? I'm not exactly sure, but I am just trying to figure out and piece mm -hmm. apart why that phrase is, is used. It's very well put together. So, um, men, call yourself the prize so that we can all be union unionized. We can be um, together as one. <laughs> all right, let's jump into it. That was, that was great, though. I, I really enjoyed how you, how you explained it. I'm sure everyone is going to love that. Okay. You see why 70% of these women go unmarried. Additionally, black women want their mates to be attractive. Have some sort of edge, style, exciting, and not be lame. All this is subjective, but we know these are X factors, which lowers the number of viable black men. All these things are true. Which is not a bad thing to have to want your man or woman to have these qualities. I, mm -hmm. I don't think that's a bad thing at all. Mm -hmm. you know? Even if some of them are subjective, what was wrong with what he posted, Tiffany? 
My issue again is that he did not have to juxtapose his successes against black women. It's just entirely unnecessary. That's one way to look at it, but Seriously. May I say more? We don't so, know what his intent was. He should have just said, I'm the prize. But he, but he shouldn't have said anything about black women that is factually accurate or true. So let me ask you. No, oh, no, Mr. So let me, no, no, that, that was a rhetorical because. question. So do you hold this same position for black women when they're speaking about themselves? Certainly. So black women who talk about themselves, they should never bring up black men and juxtapose their accomplishments against black men. I don't think it's healthy. No, 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 that's not what I asked. I asked, do you, do you, do you hold that position for black women? Yes, I do. Really? Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to test that. So, okay. So the fact that he had to actually had the nerve to bring up something about black women that was true was problematic. Why? It's unnecessary. Like, you, no, why, no, you, you, said it's, insert... you said it's unnecessary. That's subjective. But why do you say it's unnecessary? The blowback came from the juxtaposition of his success against black women. It's not a necessary conversation to have. And I think it's an overgeneralization as to what black women actually want. Well, all he yes, said was, hold on, man, overgeneralization. That, no, we don't get that one. All he stated was facts. He stated facts, that there's a lot of ways that you can state facts mm -hmm. to create But here's one, here's one fact. Okay, what did your husband have. say about this? What? What did your husband say about this? Did y'all discuss it? No, I'm not married. I, don't, I, I would not choose. I would not choose to date into something like that. I got to choose to be single. Okay. I'm a PhD. Okay, congratulations. But that was Thank unnecessary, you. right? Nope, because... No, 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 you just... I no, ma'am, you did, I just I'm asked you about... A marriage to, I just asked you about marriage, and you juxtaposed it against your education. Yes. That was unnecessary. I'm trying to give you context. That's unnecessary. I'm giving you context about the prior That's unnecessary, according to your okay. way of thinking. So I asked you simply, what did, okay, you're not married. What did your boyfriend and or the man in your life say about this? Say about what specifically? This conversation, because you're having it with me, so I'm assuming you had it with him. Yeah, I mean, he definitely does not think that it was an appropriate uh, way of communicating, is he around? and there's a lot of men that uh, he's in here. Okay, would he mind getting on with you? He really cuts uh, people off a lot. He does. Sometimes it's kind of hard to, you know, it's because people have asked for guys to get on. I'll save my comment for later. Yeah, he's aware. He's aware. Yeah, because like, nothing this man said, like. said, nothing in this prize said, I'm the prize, and now black women are, are, are going to have, he, he didn't insult black women in anything. So let me ask a question. But well, his I'm usage of the term was not by chance. You pull, you pull it from a particular oh, source. Man, and that's an assumption, though, you know? It's like, not we, an we, assumption. It's like it's whenever, a, it's you a, see, whenever you see TikTokers and they start using certain words that are obviously African-American vernacular, we know where the source is coming from, even if they're using it for their own creative unique reason we know where the source is coming from the the term i'm a prize we know that it's typically so where where it's sort of white women don't say i'm the prize indian women don't say i'm the prize typically. And, and you're right you know and i'll give you that one it just goes to show the cannibalization the cannibal like listic nature of black people at the end of the day we always just want to attack each other no matter what the crab in the burrow mentality we like it just even if this was a thing like should have just let it be. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have said it, but you shouldn't have responded. It's like, what are you trying to do to... I mean, let the brother bask in his glory, if that's what he wants. I feel like a lot of women have so, so many issues against heterosexual... They call him gay, black men being gay. You're gay, you're gay. And it's like, huh? if he's gay, let him be gay then. If that's, if that's the case. Wait, are you saying that that's what she said? Or are you making no, well, about? they're saying that him him simply saying the word that he's prized is uh -huh. a feminine trait that's been mostly been attributed to black women. The, uh -huh. the word is up for black women. Uh -huh. And so, if it is, it just show, goes to show the cannibalistic nature of black people, how we always want to hold each other down. Like, all the time. Black men on black men, black women, black men, black men on black women. We we want to tear each other down, and it's like, to me, I I don't, 
I would. Why okay. do you think that that happens? Why do you think that there is a cannibalist nature that is embedded within black male and black female relations? I mean, I think it. I mean, the easy answer would be to say it started from slavery days, where they had to kind of like it was like survival. You know, like you you kind of throw someone under the bus to to get. To not get that whipping, kind of throw someone under the bus to get favorable treatment or some shit like that. And I think that in today's world, it's we 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 feel like we have to compete against other people that are just like us, that look just like us to get in these scarce positions. I think there's there's a there's there's this scarcity mentality that a lot of black people have that oh if, if he gets it, I'm not gonna be able to get it. If there was an abundance mentality, I still think that the missing link is that there isn't a unifying narrative that would bring black people, black men and black women together to say that we should come together for this reason, we should come together because we're this, we should... I mean, we have a little bit of that in the pro-black movement and these kind of things, in the maybe like the religious s- sector, mm-hmm. like that type of unity, but in, in like the common atmosphere, the secular world... Um, it's very much like us against them. Like we're we're in competition with one another. I think that that is actually like the narrative that's really pushed a lot, yeah. even in dating, even in the work atmosphere, even in the social sphere. There's more competitive energy and actions that are being done. So how can we take what this guy's comment of I'm a prize is? We really don't know what his intent was. Was he trolling? Was he being serious? Was but, he but why trying? couldn't it have just simply be him saying that he is a prize? I mean, is he not? Is, the, is it true or is it false? It's not true nor false because we don't know. The reason why I think it's being pieced apart is because of how things are presented in the digital atmosphere, which is like people do things for attention, for clout, to get a rise out of people. That's oftentimes done. So so the reason why I think it's being pieced apart is because it was put in the digital space to be pieced and, apart. And it's weird because, once again, two degrees, past the bar exam, which is, once again, one of the hardest exams in America that you can take, two degrees, law, under 20, no kids. I'm a prize. All hell breaks loose. Mm-hmm. All hell breaks loose. Like that's a, he. He deserves it. He he's a prize. That's that's worth it. And the fact there's so much flack about it shows the contradictory nature of black people. What does it mean when he says that he? It means prize. that he's a prize. He's he's a prize to get with a guy like him. And for him to, for you to tie him down or for him to be with you, take you seriously, what does it mean when a woman says that? I'm a prize. Well, I, I went into an explanation. Of you that. did. And so, off of what's your explanation, I'm going to assume that the woman's like, okay, I, I'm a prize. I'm pluff, fluffing myself up and trying to make myself feel better. And so, therefore, if you, if I'm going to view myself as a prize, any man that tries to get for me, you have to do X, Y, Z so you can earn a prize. A prize is something that isn't given. It's earned. A prize isn't, isn't you don't just give it out. Those yeah. are gifts. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but a prize is something you have to earn, like in a carnival. Like you got to shoot so many, whatever, whatever. A prize, whatever. according to Wikipedia, a prize is an award to be given to a person or a group of people to recognize and reward their actions and achievements. So, therefore, for women on average to say that they're a prize follows a definition. But for him, a man who's got two degrees, passed the bar exam, has the pedigrees. So he's not just some regular dusty saying he's a prize. He's a, a well a, a made man. He's a made man saying he's a prize. Yeah, no and there's issues with it. Again, no one is I don't think me personally or even some of the people that are commenting are taking any jabs at his accomplishments i think the commentary was his word usage and where that word usage stems from and what it's usually what it has been because i wouldn't say traditional because the way prize is being used now within the black space is obviously not something that's been happening for a long time but 
Again. So what would you guys have preferred for him to say instead? If you're going to speak for all black women. Too. I'm not speaking for all black women. I don't think that's a fair thing to do. So who are you it's, speaking for? Man? It's dangerous to make large generalizations. I, from my perspective, observing the video and taking bits and pieces of information from what I've read, I think that if he was going to say prize, it could be done in a playful way. Obviously, he wasn't received in that way. I think that black Twitter and a lot of black spaces on social media are very critical of one another we we post pictures of people in normal everyday outfits and we find ways to tear them down and make fun of them we do it for celebrities we do it for normal people i feel like black social media tends to be hypercritical as a joke and also like like as an aspect of the culture that people just jump in Mm -hmm. right so the fact that it happened to him to me, it's not that surprising because I think that that's just a facet of entering into that black space. Black Twitter is known for that. Like People know black Twitter as the place where you get dragged and everything for anything and for any reason. Um, I think that, he, to me, if he wants to post that, he has every reason to do so. I think that, again, if he maybe didn't want to catch as much heat, he could have maybe made it into a more joking way. I don't think that it's wrong that he said it the way that he did. I would have just not really taken it too seriously. Or he could have said, I'm a catch. I'm a great catch. I'm looking for my wifey. Something like that. Okay, makes sense. Makes sense. Should black men be able to discuss some of the issues that black women have with finding a viable mate? Right after you have the conversation about viability and what that means, and if that should actually mean what it is, Talk to me like I'm four. Don't use so many words. Wait, what? Okay. Talk to me like I'm four. Don't use so many words. Oh, what were you going to say about Kevin, too, by the way? Oh, he cuts people off a lot. He and it, and, it, and it, what I, I think it ends up doing is that it kind of puts him in, the, in a position of, like, you know, authority over the conversation so he can steer it the way that he wants. Because it's just like, let's say someone starts to say something and they maybe they start speaking too long or using too many words. Uh, 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 what did I say? Huh? What? What? No? Huh? huh? Answer my question. Answer my question. And so I think that, like, I, I can understand the idea that you have a show and you want to keep things in a certain time constraint and you want to keep the conversation, like, in a particular type of way. Mm-hmm. But I think it goes about it in a way that, to me, it ends up being more distracting than, like, than kind of having the conversation, like, flow in a particular direction. There have been many times where guests have called in and they've made a lot of great sense and you are, like, tuned in. You're like, damn, where's this going? I want to see where this goes. And then he would kind of cut off. So mm-hmm. he does that. He does that to he does it to everybody, mm-hmm. men and women. Um yeah, <laughs> he does it. it. It happens. So, do you want to go further? I think we're pretty good. I mean, In about twenty minutes. Let's give it sixty seconds. Okay. Okay. So for me, viability would not necessarily mean a specific degree. It does not mean certain dollar figures on your check. It would have a lot more to do with character. It would have to do with how they communicate, especially when they're angry. It would have a lot to do with their integrity. So if you, you know, have all of these things going for yourself, but you don't have some of these other things, you, you to me are not necessarily viable. So when should black people? Hold on, hold on, hold on. She did say to me, so she's obviously speaking her personal preference. You say as black men. No, when should black men be able to have that conversation? You can have whatever conversation you want. But if you believe that your viability is based off of your credentials, you're likely to attract the person that's going to judge you based off of those credentials. But I would hope you'd want something more for yourself. So black men judge black men based off of the things you said. Character, uh, integrity. Men judge. Excuse me. In mass. Yeah, in are, mass. Are so, when, so, when, so when black women are asked on relationship panels and magazines and videos and anything that any of us can see, what they're looking for in a mate, where does character tend to rank with black women? That's leading the question. That's a logical fallacy that you just did. However, 
I see where he's trying to go, but he's putting her into a loophole that isn't appropriate because it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't answer, right? To answer for the majority of black women when she was making commentary about how she personally feels, how she would judge him, it's like you're now forcing her to answer for the majority when she was answering specifically towards herself and her own personal opinion. So he should have instead further interrogated her about her personal opinion because when you start bringing it to the larger stage of answering for like the, the consensus of black women and all this other stuff it becomes a, a slippery slope because one could say that black women at large don't value character look at how they hook up with rappers look at how they do this and do that so she's not even able to stand on her own personal points of how she feels about that guy and what she values and all this other stuff because mm. she now has to answer for the majority and she obviously is a black woman with a phd and she's she's, she's not the majority yeah, at absolutely all she's not. already in a minority yeah. so i i, I get that. that that kind of that makes sense yeah that makes sense yeah i'm trying to think like if i were her i would have probably just responded in that way like well i can't speak for all of them yeah. like i'm i'm literally speaking for myself look at the position i'm in i'm like i said i'm a phd hmm? where's your husband <laughs> well, look, like I said, I'm a PhD. I'm a PhD. I'm a PhD. I'm a PhD. You are the producers, ma'am. I asked you a direct question, ma'am. Unresponsive. I asked you a direct question. Okay, I'm going to mute you. I asked you a direct question, and it is unresponsive <laughs> and rude to ask answer a question with a question. <laughs> Where does character okay. rank in these well, discussions with black women? Well, those aren't discussions with black women. I made it very clear. I'll ask again. Well, I mean, the, the way he is asking it is is unfavorable. However, I do kind of get what he's saying because when it does come to like the outlet, kind of just like what you were saying about where um where we said um what we've heard the saying where black men will say that white men don't want black women. Like we like it's a, it's a saying. Just the same way, like, like I had to admit that I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah, we've heard that. The same way she has to admit that character isn't ever really talked about when it comes to these magazines and stuff like that, to the media. Black women never mention character. Character isn't valued in the general space. What's valued has always been the flashy stuff. Like, character is always kind of like a side thing that, you know, people, you know, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, they have good character. Well, but, like, in the, in the, in the general, like... Hollywood, do we necessarily care about the character of these actors? We just want to make sure that they're entertaining, they're they're scandalous enough, not too scandalous, but scandalous enough. You know, they're good looking, they're attractive. You know, there's certain things that in the public space are obviously seen as like more favorable qualities, but whenever you're coming into like dynamics on a more personal level of course character is going to be more important because these are the people that you see on a day-to-day -day basis that really affect your day-to-day well-being so you're going to have to value more solid things when people are in closer proximity to you on the general consensus we could be like yeah all black girls like is hot girl summer and twerking okay we can say that but whenever we come closer into people's individual lives do you think that that's something that is at the top of their priority truly you know it could be that they project that but that if that's is that really something that you know is going to enhance their day-to-day -day life now that's a great point that you bring up and there's there's the way that you find out as you look at the history what is she cho what has she chosen in the past you're different right you've chosen intentionally almost everything that you've done in your life a lot of people don't operate that way would you say that you're majority? No, you're the minority, absolute minority, unicorn. And so the majority obviously follow a different route. Now, Hollywood is an interesting thing to talk about because when you think of Hollywood, we mostly think of what the population of America is, white and black people for the most part. But we see Korean movies, we see Japanese movies, they, vow, they don't value materialism the same way that America does. Mm -hmm. That's an example of cultures that display a different valuation a rank of values mm -hmm. they rank things differently and what they appreciate and they openly talk about it you know but when it does come to the black community in general we, we kind of already know how things go 
And are you talking about in terms of values? Yeah, we we like the the average black person in in in, in America. You're from Africa, so it's a little bit different. Mm-hmm. I don't necessarily, but I hear that it's somewhat similar still. You, yeah, you got that Afri- idea of dowries Niger- and, and yeah. things like that. You know, that's still favorable. There's you there's definitely like Nigeria is becoming more Western. I I think just from my personal observation, so materialism is becoming much much more top of the hierarchy. How much money you make how big of a house you have, the brand name stuff you wear, having an iPhone, blah, blah, having a Mercedes Benz, all these things are like very much mm-hmm. important and seen as like valuable and everything like that. So there's there's definitely similarities, I'm, I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah. So I, I like she, like I can see Kevin, he, he kind of, he cornered her. He did corner her. Absolutely. But the answer that, the question that he's asking almost anybody like we all kind of unanimously know what the answer is, which is character is never mentioned. It's never really ever mentioned. Sometimes we'll do when we do get into the dynamics, the actual like minuscule aspects of certain. Like we get to a specific person, like a Jada Pinkett or some shit. She now nah, she, she's different. She's obviously on some other shit. But if we get to the listen to specific celebrities and they to get to talk, start talking about what they specifically want. It does kind of become a little more evident as to what happens, but 